when patients reach third line therapy after they've progressed on our standard cytotoxic therapies, Fulflox and Fulfiri, with or without Avastin, uh, the conversation often entails um, anti-EGFR therapy if they happen to be all RAS uh, wild type. And if not, uh, well, which a large proportion of our patients are, uh, then we discuss either enrollment in clinical trials or the standard therapies that are available for those patients, which are either uh, Stavaga or Lonserf. Choices are a bit personal based on the patient's preference. Some people are, are quite motivated to participate in clinical trials, in which case that's what we proceed with. Um, or if patients prefer standard therapy uh, or perhaps uh, are unable to enroll in a clinical trial, uh, then we consider either Stavagra or Lonserf at that time. The goals pretty much remain the same across multiple lines of therapy. Uh, the, the primary goal, of course, is to maintain, and this is, overall, this is palliative uh, care, so the primary goal of, of chemotherapy or any treatment is palliation. Uh, the secondary goal is, of course, and a, a very important goal, is prolonging survival, and they frankly go hand in hand. The goals remain the same across multiple lines of therapy, how to balance quality of life with efficacy that will improve outcome survival. Um, so we keep those goals uh, on track across all these lines of therapy. Unfortunately, as we go through lines of therapy, uh, we start losing uh, benefit. Uh, the disease becomes more aggressive, uh, emerging clones be become more resistant, so we lose some benefit. Uh, so we have to reassess the situation at every, uh, at every line of therapy. Uh, however, the balance is always the same, how to optimize efficacy while maintaining quality of life. As patients approach later lines of therapy in colon cancer, um, helping them through the quality of life issues becomes that much more important, including both supportive care aspects, which include uh, introducing things that will help patients to support the fatigue, support the anorexia and weakness that may be a consequence of their treatment, and also helping management strategies to deal with the ongoing treatment if they're getting treated at all. So some of the things that some people utilize are uh, increased use of palliative care specialists, such as nurse practitioners or a palliative care service, which can help patients cope with um, the different aspects of, of the, really the side effects from the disease that they will have as they approach later lines of therapy. Coinciding with that, there's additional strategies that a lot of people use to help patients tolerate drugs better, which includes dose reductions, breaks from treatment if so indicated, uh, to keep them going if the treatment is, is working.